All right, give me a minute. Uh, I actually remembered to put it on Instagram this time. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, I got two packages from eBay in. Uh... I know what both of them are, and I think I brought them up in two videos. Um, yeah, um, they're off the table now, for right now. Um, um, they're wet, because it's all the snow is melting, for whatever reason, the guy, the mailman, decided to put them out on the my doorstep with a bunch of melting snow, and just put them in the Essentially put them in the snow on the wet ground. So um yeah. We'll wait for people to come in. Uh by the way, I got a new box cutter from about last month, I believe. Or the month before. Yeah, um Mine the blade broke like a couple months after I got it, so yeah. I'm actually gonna turn this around for now. I did my best to cover up my address, so hopefully no one sees it. So, yeah. Alright. I don't know which one's which. Here's the other package. It was more in dirt than anything, so it's wonderful. So, yeah, we're going to I'm gonna take a minute. Um... So I'll show you how my table looks. Um, table's a mess after both the Rebecca video. Um, and the other video. Just trying to... Here's my state of my tables. The new table. It's just kind of really messy. It's off to the side here. I just had to cover up my address with the with the marker there. Yeah. Um. So yeah, hopefully we can get started soon. I don't want to be essentially making a video of an I. I don't want to like unbox it without anyone actually in the stream. Because I, because if I do that, I may as well just make a video. Um. Yeah, I'm not really in any hurry or anything. So yeah. Um. This fell again. All right. So let's put these back here. So actually, I'll swap. These two are around. And I will move Luke back here. There we go. Thomas. I can move these three over. So what? Move. move the camera back a bit. Alright. Um, Alright. I'm gonna check my Instagram post. Bear with me for a minute.
そうどうすね Alright, someone else is watching. Okay, they just left. Um, and there's not nothing was going on. Um, I'll find the comments of these people. Someone's watching me. Um, oh, there's no comment or anything. If someone else watch, I want at least someone watching, so I guess we'll get into it. Uh, yeah. So. I know what everything is, I'm just not sure on which package is which. So, okay. What this is, which one this is now. <laughs> there is something else. And what? Oh, uh, okay, that's uh, pretty odd. Uh, anyways, here it is. That's kind of an odd way to package. But okay, there it is. Uh, Scar Lowy. Um, yeah, I've been I wanted this type of Scar Lowy in particular, and I was able to find this for a pretty good price 2010. And yeah, um, I'm actually gonna unbox this. Uh, Alright, so yeah, um, I'll unbox this in a minute, I'll just get the other one. We got a third person coming in. Uh, and... Trying to see what one of them is. Alright. And the other two are Percy and George. So, yeah. Um, pretty good condition, both of them. Uh, Percy has a chip on the roof. Uh, nothing I can't fix. Uh, I'll put the, on the Percy, I'll paint the running board and the buffer beams on both sides. 
I don't really think I gotta do anything to really to George. All right, let's move Scarlet Lily back. All right, so. Good look at both. Uh, Pressing a little chip on the nose, so but that's fine. Or at least some sort of discoloration hmm. on the nose, at least. So, yeah. Um, here's a closer look at George. Uh, he's got a little bit more damage on him, like a lot, mostly on the roof. The roof's a bit loose, but it isn't bad. Uh, I don't know if there's anything really to do on George. I'll have to look. Um, and yeah. It's cold printed on the back. And yeah. So yeah, there's Percy and George. Uh, I don't know if George has any dates on them wheels. Are they didn't print wheels dates on these. Oh wow, they actually did. Two thousand two. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but it says two thousand two. All right, so now we'll take care of Scarlowy. Get him out of the box. Well, actually, people are actually coming in. Yeah. All right, so the box is in good condition still. I'm going to actually... I normally keep boxes, but I'll keep this one just because of the rarity it is. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I don't think I've ever had a take and play box that looked like that. Um... Anyways, uh, here is Scarlet. He's heavy, actually. Oh. Uh, little Black 64. Cool. Uh, a lot of engines without tenders. I think I bought a, I bought uh, my Murdoch. Um, I got uh, essentially what happened was it's gonna sound really weird, but a neighbor got evicted, and I inherited a lot of her wooden her kids' wooden railway stuff because she left all of it behind. So the, so the landlady was just like, "Take it. <laughs> I don't want it. It's gonna go into a dumpster if it doesn't." And I got like a Murdoch front from it, so I had to buy the tender separately. I thought that was, like, so funny. <laughs> so, he, he, she just had the Murloc. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at Scarlowy. He's got the new face. His phone doesn't like to focus. Um, there it is. Yeah, um... This guy's from 2010. Yeah, I, I had to take on version. Um, lost. I actually had all these guys in take on take along versions. Like, like uh, well, I actually had Reneas, Rusty, Duncan, Luke, Sir Handel, and Peter Sam, along with Victor. Uh, but the thing is, uh, at some point, we moved, and I had the, and I accidentally left them all behind. So I didn't bind them back. Um, um, and I know, um, 
I bought this uh friend a friend of mine uh that I met through a teacher. Uh this is gonna sound really complicated. Um I did it I think I actually did an unboxing of these. Uh she was getting rid of a bunch of stuff and she just gave him all of these like old toys and that's actually where I got this Thomas. And the Gordon that I use, and I'm gonna be using the videos along with this birdie and a bunch of other stuff. He gave it to me. It's... Um, yeah, and I got uh, Duke, Sir Handel, Peter, Sam, Reneas, and Duncan from it. So, uh, yeah, anyways, let's. <laughs> Try to reposition this tripod. It's gonna be a nightmare. This tripod's so fiddly to work with. So yeah, there are the three I got. I ended up getting. Oh. Let's see. It actually looks good behind these coaches. The magnet's kind of weird. I kind of send them off to the left a bit. It was one off. And yeah, um, there are Scarlowy, Percy, and George. Um, um, I don't know what I can really do to Scarlowy. Um, that's not already done. Um, I mean, I'll paint the windows. I think his, I'm gonna look at a model. Of, I'm gonna look at a photo of his model. Oh, no. Give me a minute. All right, so yeah, um, on this lower groove right here, he has like this gold ring that I want to try and give him. If not, I'll just put it on the top of the funnel, which I'll probably end up doing because I don't have a steady enough hand to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna let's put all the net my narrow cage engines, put them all together to. Little lineup. Come on, Duke. Mm. Reneus. Let's see. Let's see over here.
There we go. There they all are together. Not all of them. I haven't. I still. I'm still gonna get. Uh, Freddy. Mighty Mac. And I'm actually working on Stanley right now. Um, don't know when that will be done. I think I said that in the video, but I don't know when that'll be done. Yeah, but Scarlet's little fleet is growing fast. Let's see, can I get a better group shot? Okay, no. <laughs> Apparently, I'm back as far as I can. I can get this tripod. There we go. So, yeah. Um, anyone else? Okay, there's one person watching. So yeah, um, that's apparent. That's shit. That's, so yeah, that's really it. Um, at least for the unboxing part. I don't know if anyone else is actually gonna be watching this. I guess I'll let you guys know what my next video So my next video will be on these two, Blister 1 and Blister 2. Uh, along with a couple of other little things. Uh, like this. And this. Uh, I, and I filmed it like a while ago, so... Yeah, so... Um... So yeah, um, I would like to make red coat Scarlet coaches. Oh, very nice customs. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, um, I guess so. I guess I'll talk about more narrow gauge guys. Um, Freddy, Mighty Mac are definitely the next ones that I'm getting. Uh, and I gonna get a. I found a beat up take and play. Uh, Freddy. Um, I like I found a. I think it's a take long Freddy, which I'll make keep as Freddy. And then I will, get uh the new take long. The new take and play, Freddy, because uh, I found a beat up one on eBay, and I'll paint that red and turn that to Ivo Hugh. Uh, and then I then I have a Henry in the other room that I'm making into Stanley. Yeah, that'll be important. But yeah, I'll go into that later. Uh, once it's done, I'm still in like the early stages of making them. So, yeah, honestly, it could. It could honestly change on what I use. <laughs> yeah, I'm just moving those. So they're completely covering the shot. <sighs> Entire background. So yeah. Um... So yeah. Um... And then I want to make uh, the other Minnesota engines. Uh, I'm probably going to get uh, a Rene another Reneas. Uh, I would like to get a, try to get a take and play one. And so I can take them apart easy. And paint them green. Pop them back together. And then go smudger. Um, I want to make like, some of the guys that you see in... It's sort of modern years, 
or Victor Kanzik series. Like, uh, I explained Stanley. Uh, Andreas, I want to make, definitely. Um, I want to make characters like Jim and Jerry and Tim, I believe. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for those. Uh, if you guys have your own suggestions, I'll be happy. Um, feel free to give me them. Um, who I should use for them. I'm doing this in take and play, not because not wooden. So, uh, let me know what you guys think about that because, well, I'm going to do it anyways, but it's like I just want to know who I should use. I'm thinking with Tim, with, with Tim, I'm thinking of a to of a Toby body chassis with the side plates or a Mavis. Doesn't really matter. And like a Thomas, maybe. I don't want to have to do any cutting. <laughs> uh, I definitely know Toby wheel set. Um, Albert, I'll just get a Peter, a Sir Handel, a uh, second Sir, Han a third Sir Handel, more or less, because Proteus. I'll get like a Sir Handel, and I will. I'm gonna try and remove this. I'll cut off the cylinders. Uh, and I will paint them a lighter blue. And then I will. Uh, what? Uh, Bertram. Um, I'll get to that in him in a minute. Um, Bertram. No. Um, Jim. I don't know yet. Uh, Albert. I'll. I guess that I'll remove the cylinders. I'll take like a popsicle stick, cardboard, and glue it to the side, side here. And then. <laughs> Um, what do you call? It? Uh, because I know he has like some sort of side puts, or he has like side rods that are like outside. So maybe I'll get like a. I don't know. Bertram, he's gonna be a hard one because Duke. I want to make him from a take one or take and play Duke. But Duke is a really expensive engine to get. Uh, let me see if I can actually show you. Uh, cause like this, things like this that uh, looks affordable, but if you look at the shipping, the shipping is ridiculous on these. So, I might consider getting an Ertl Bertram. Um, let's see. Yeah, like, it's sad that this is probably the most affordable version that you can get. Or I'll probably get like get like a Percy and or I'll get like a Percy and like make it make the tank engine variant because it's more affordable. Yeah, it's either this one which oh wait, this is a dude. Uh 
Um, there's multiple listings for Bertram. The other one's probably the more affordable version. Um, see, a lot of these are coming from the United Kingdom or China. Well, mostly the United Kingdom. And I guess they have, like, very... I guess the chipping's very high over there. So, um... Let's see, is there... Anyone else I'm missing? That I haven't talked about. Alright. Put this down for a minute. Let me look. Um. Alright. Alright. So the course of, I have like the TV series guys. And then I've done Fred and Mark Five. Um, oh, I want to do Scarlet here. Uh, I still have to do Ivo Hugh. Uh, I'm gonna do, I might do Scarlet Louis. I might do this the Ghost Engine. Um, oh crap, did I click on? Um, I'm gonna, I might do the coaches. Um, coaches might be the last thing. Uh, Colin, I want to get the track master version because it's probably more affordable one and I kind of like it better. Uh, Madge, I might get the take along one depending on the affordability. Owen and Merrick, not even gonna bother with them because not I can't even come close to having the uh the Blue Mountain Quarry. Uh I wanna make the red coaches here. And then um and then these ones. I want to make like Ada Jane Mabel. Uh, what are they? Agnes, Ruth, Lucy, Jemima, Beatrice, Cora, and Gertrude in Middleston. Uh, maybe I'll make this coach. That's not, uh, I also kind of want to make Tally Lynn. Let's see, it's Sodor. Oh, yeah, let me just. Okay. Damn. I'm just gonna check the comments quickly. Nothing new. Let's see. Alright. So Albert, like I said, Sir Handel. Oh my god, really? Jim. Uh, I guess I'll take a Thomas. And cut the wheels off. The same thing. Uh, and 
with Tim, I'll get like a Toby and uh, put a Thomas top on there or Mavis. Uh, these red engines, uh, I don't know. Atlas and Alfred, uh, don't know. Jerry, uh, maybe a Stephanie. I don't know. You guys can tell me. And I already brought up those two. Um. So. So yeah, um, so is there anything else, uh, that you guys want to know before I end? Yeah, I'll show them off. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll go into kind of quick detail about them. I don't know if I actually did. Or not. Um, so, I used the, the new Sir Handel. Uh, or the, the new or taking place Sir Handel. Um, painted yellow. I uh, put silver on the wheels kind of just to make it look different. Um, painted, I, I probably actually started out with the running board and then did the top here. And yeah, um, I took a paint pen and did all the line in here, as well as the roof. In the front, what I did with the little, top of the little lamp here, what I did was I took a Dremel tool and I just shaved this down. Uh, and then just colored it in. Yeah, very simple, very basic. I'll, here, I'll quick shut these guys off. So what I did here was I took the dinosaur car from the Renaissance and the dinosaur pack and I essentially put Thomas Mini's weights and this like Lego telescope piece on the inside. And that little Lego set there for I uh, count. And it keeps the middle of the roof stable. The roof is at the roof in the front and back, they're all made from a clear from two pieces of clear plastic. But I think a third one on top. Um just painted over. Yeah, and they're actually, this is actually my first guy to actually have windows. Uh, Benface, hello, Wooden Productions. Uh, Bill or Benface, I don't know which one. And yeah, um, Fred here, um, made using a Thomas. So just some Lego pieces I just built up in a Pakistan face. Oh crap! That's why that's why his arm doesn't move. Um, yeah, a little screw here, and that's actually the bit, the back piece I think to the Thomas that I used. Um, that's kind of just a little detail, and for like the joystick and, and stuff, a little figure here, just a little random Lego figure. This is from I think a rescue speedboat. It's actually the figure that uh, my old Zach came from. Uh, 
if I apparently I put the female chat the female torso on him because he has that little grooves on the side there. Just plow the sanders going up and down the streets right now. <laughs> Yesterday's video, I said that I didn't know when these were coming in. Literally, day later, this I just see these guys, these things like fly past by me because I have. I saw, I saw like the mailman like throw them. I, I don't know what was it up with him today, but he was like mad about something. Ah, mm. uh, because. Because he was mad about something, I don't know what, but like I just saw these guys. I saw I saw these two like whizzing past my head. <laughs> um. Yeah, and that's why the packages kind of look like that because they just fell into like the mud and stuff, and the rocks. <laughs> Um, so I guess I, I guess I, I'm gonna, I completely forgot about Coldy. Um, yeah, he's here. Um, what does your phone tripod look like? Uh, okay, I'm about to get like, I'm gonna get, like, pinch myself again. Oh, come on. It's this. <laughs> And yeah, it essentially springs up like this, and I have to essentially wedge it in there. It's a massive pain. Oh, God. Okay, it's not going in now. All right, wonderful. Everyone's probably getting motion sickness now. Okay, there we go. Back in. Tripod's a pain. At least I don't have to use my old computer because that one's that one was like big and clunky. I would need like a tower just to like, like a tower off the table, like literally just to have the computer. It's actually right there, actually. Anyways, um, Look, a thing I'll be working on soon is building up my Coldy Fowl engines. So, yeah, um, uh, I want to try and get the, er the three, er the one, the three ones that are herbal, and then get, uh, what is it, like four more? So I want to make like Godred. Uh and I want to. I'm gonna keep the three that are. Uh, the three that are Ertle. I'm gonna keep their normal, the normal purple. Um, then I want to take like these ones that aren't purple, and just pink them in wacky colors, and at least because. The name plates they're way too small for me to actually do by hand. Um so yeah. Um yeah, I just want these like whack so I'll probably get like taken blay coldies. Uh I actually never looked up on how much coldy is on eBay. We'll do a lot of I hate this computer sometimes.
Yeah, it's a better quality. Let's see. I mean, what's wrong with that one? I can't spell Colby, apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. You think a 20 year old would know how to spell a children's toys name? Alright, so Colby actually isn't that much online. Let's see. I think I'm just kind of going by the first one I see. <laughs> Much I do my best to get like cold and like lots or something just so I can have more instance. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I will, uh, but I may try to get more sec other variants on the narrow gauge engines like Sir Handle oh whoops Sir Handle, Peter Sam, Rustin Duncan to make like railway series versions. I might may I'm not confirming it yet. So yeah, quality is actually pretty inexpensive. I'll see it's a take on one. I actually want to know this guy's story. It's got no funnel. Never trust funnelless engines, apparently. <laughs> How did that even ha begin to happen? Uh, um, I'm not seeing a lot of the taken play one. Did that just? Uh, not sell. <laughs> the shipping that some people put on their stuff is really stupid. Like, you're, you're charging $80 for it, but you put like another $19 on for the shipping. I don't know if that just makes me sound cheap, but. But it's like, there's some people in here, like, I showed you guys earlier with the Duke. What Duke? Not the Duke, but Duke. Here, I'll show you guys again. Like, look up Duke on eBay. It's a take and play. And it's like, he's got these ridiculous price tags on him, like. Is that what the, what's going on in the United Kingdom that shipping something over here is so expensive? Is it because of the pandemic or what? That's probably why I'm going to make like a tank and burn. Okay, wow. I just went full dyslexic there for a minute. Um. Yeah, um. Yeah, never trust funnelless engines. Also, never trust engines with like thirty dollar price tags. Well, you get why the take on Duke is rare because it's Target exclusive, but the take and play one looks like a normal release. I remember seeing it everywhere. Like, he was a shelf warmer for the longest time. Yeah, he was a shelf warmer. At least where I live, he was a shelf warmer. Yeah, I never got him. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm probably gonna make a take and play Bertram using the taken. Lucky I got I I got to take on Duke. I'm glad you got a bigger table. Which is what have you been wanting to get?
Yeah, well, I'm not saying that the old table wasn't useful. It worked well for years. And yet, I'm using it still for storage. <laughs> That's really what I'm using it for. It's just for storage. Because I got these, like... I got these, like, containers from Walmart. They're, like, $7 for, like, a 10-pack. I've been... And I moved all my track out of here. And I put my buildings in there now. So... Um... And I just have DVDs down there, so... Uh, my engines are still treated like trash, so the fact that the buildings have like a more the track and buildings have better spots. To go. I would like to get um like a shelving thing, like another one of these tape, like at least two more of these tables, or at least of that table right there, or at least another table, like two tables to go along here, and then I'll get like. Shelvin for so I can have shelving for the engines because because with customs oftentimes when they're damaged uh I, when I put them in boxes and they have like extra parts that I glue onto them sometimes they'll they'll break off like I believe Donald Douglas are in this box somewhere and I think one of them had like the funnel broken off that I added to it and I have and you guys know how fragile the 87 characters can be. But yet, yeah, they're kind of just thrown into the into these two boxes here. Um, because I just simply don't have room for all of them. So I like to get like a... I know I found like smaller shelving. Smaller shell Like little shelves at Walmart. That I would like to get. Essentially get like tables. Put them on here. Like move all of this crap out of the way. I'm, I'm. I'm. Like the rescue center is right here. Which I'm completely lost on. Because parts broke off. Like shit, The shed is right there. What's the clips doing? Oh yeah, the um this the these clips they're actually the things that held on the sky background. And I, there's two more on the other side. Uh essentially what when I got this and I put the table the tablecloth on, um the the tablecloth was or not tablecloth, the sewing fabric was shifting around a lot. So I put these clips on to hold it down. There are two more on. I don't know how you guys can see it, but there's two more on this side. So that I could just to hold it, just to hold them down. Alright. I've never actually used the tripod like this for so long, so long. I just find it funny on how Scarlet was packaged. Because, like, he was wrapped up in uh, the... He had this on him. <laughs> I guess this helped keep the shape of the box. I mean, it kind of worked. Uh, this thing kind of got crushed a bit. I never actually saw any of the packaging with this piece. You remember seeing this one guy's collection video that he did? And he had these things like taken out. And I always thought that was so weird because it's like, I, I don't know if these like came like during like the first run. Because these, this box says 2010. On the side, on the back.
And it doesn't have a pen with it, which I find really weird too. So yeah, um, so it looked like the glue was like wearing, I think the glue was like wearing out because the only glue was on like these corners here in this side. So, yeah, um, never noticed that, it's probably always on here, I just never noticed it because it's like, when I was younger I just kind of focused on the actual toy itself. Uh. So yeah, um, there's Carloe. Give you guys a last look at them. Um, yeah. I might try to get like a little people, like little HO people, scale people for these guys. Because they have open cabs. Uh, and I think I could probably get like a little HO scale figure to kind of go inside. Uh, not like, I can always, like, drill them out, like, because they have, like, the, so I got this, like, $20 drill, I talked about this before, and I've been, I used it to take apart, like, some engines, like, I believe I used it on this Thomas here. Can't tell. Um, but I used it on the Chinese Dragon here when I made this. I took off the chassis with it. So I'd like to get... So the, these guys that... Um, Duke. Scarloe. Luke. And Rusty. Have just normal screws. That I could just take apart. And stick these little... Stick probably little HO scale figures in. So, yeah, um, um, yeah, and just put little crews in them. Uh, and I would like to get, like, I know Shapeways, uh, people on Shapeways sell lamps, and I'm still looking to get those. some point in the future, I don't know when. So, yeah. Um, I'll show you a quick look at Percy and George, and then I'll probably gonna end up in the stream here. Because... Uh, I might end the stream. I'm probably gonna end the stream here. So, yeah. Um, oh, oh. Percy, um, tripod's a little bit too close to the edge. So, yeah, um, once again, these guys are in pretty good condition. Aside from the little chip on Percy, I can honestly fix that. Here, I'll, I can, I'll fix that right here. There we go. The truck fell again. Anyways, there's Percy. Uh, I guess still gotta fix that. Mm -hmm. And here's George. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the smile. That George is always mad. Um, so, probably not gonna fix it. I just don't want to wreck this. I might try it again. I might get another one, see if I can like redo the face. I look mad. I'm not gonna wreck this one though. 
And yeah, um, so I never realized that the wheel, the plastic on the wheels are a slightly brighter green than on the actual wood itself. Uh, that's weird because this boiler piece here, I believe that's, yeah, that is. This boiler piece, it matches George. Uh, but it's plastic. Like, this is a piece of plastic. Like, that's on wood. And that's on plastic. Um, so, I don't know... What happened here? And yeah, it also kind of works with the narrow gauge engines because in the show he was smaller, not small, bigger than than the than the narrow gauge engines. Uh, all right, so yeah, I guess that will be really it. Um, <laughs> let's show these two together before I go. And yeah, um, anyways, that's it for this video or stream. Uh, thank you for anyone who came in. Um, yeah. So yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys are new, anyone's new here, either during the stream or after the stream and you're new, uh, if you want to, subscribe if you want. And yeah, that'll be it for this stream. Anyone got some last, their final last words? Any last words? Oh, bye, I guess. Um, all right. See you guys later. Oh crap, I broke Fred.